Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoyment of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad of Fury 323, and let's go help out Cirrus a bit again. Because she's being attacked by Hodrick. And this is what I was gonna do after fighting Aldrich, as I mentioned. And we just beat Aldrich. So let's go! And get rid of Hodrick. Again. Because, I mean, we did fight him as a phantom beforehand, but now... I finally found you. No, we don't. Oh, thanks, Cirrus. Just as I promised, Granddad. Do you have to run? Remember? Yeah, ha. Huh. Ha! Huh. Give them time to heal. Oh, yeah, you can parry. I've got to be careful about that. I actually ran into that problem before, didn't I? Ha! Huh. Good luck with that. Power within. Not going to do much good. Ha! Huh. Oh, wow, this is actually really nice when you have two people on. You, although to be fair, you're kind of being annoying here. Oops. Wow. I didn't think you were that slow. Well, you were slow enough that it actually didn't matter. Ooh. Ah, oh, seriously? How that? Wow, that's pain. What? No! Oh, please tell me this doesn't screw up the quest. I need Cyrus's pants! Oh, good. I can't do it again. Whew. I guess the only problem is if Cyrus dies. Then I can probably... Then I'm probably screwed. But... If I die, it looks like it's fine. Okay. Whew. No need to panic. Let's just go. Now let's try that again. I finally found This time you. without dying. Just as I promised, Grandad. And I want to see if I can parry you. Remember? Oh uh, well, no point trying. Just stabbing you. Stabbing you works for me. Yeah, stabby. Yeah, ha. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Ah. I do have all that rings for healing based on doing stuff, so, yeah, we're good. Oh, thanks, Cirrus. I was trying to backstab them. And now I can! Okay, there we go. Just need to do that a few more times, or just cut them in general a few more times. They're still trying to set up with our pyromancy, so not happening. And you're gonna try to... You're in an Estus loop! Oh, that sucks for you. Okay, that's much better. Much, much better. Didn't even get to heal up. And I didn't even have to heal up. Good night, Grandad. Well, you're welcome. I mean, I hope I hope your grand patricide worked out for you, Cirrus. Spoiler warning, it kinda doesn't I mean, she's gonna be dead after this. Basically. Don't know how to say it, but yeah. Essentially she is Yeah, I'm not gonna go down there. That would be suicide. But yeah, she's kind of... She talks to me again, and then never, ever again. Ever. Like, this is... That was the second to last time I'll see her. And this is the last time I'll see her. Oh. There you are. Hey. I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that. My sincerest thanks for your assistance. You're welcome. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace. And I can die. Told you. But there is one last. May I take a vow to serve you as a knight? While well, dead? I mean, sure. Oh, I am most grateful. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight. Wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Well... Do you have anything else? I am your blessing. I mean, that's fair, but again, you already said you could die. And admittedly, I'm seeing, I'm seeing into the future right now, but I already know that you will, so I guess it's just because time is all convoluted. And that way, she can help me out as a phantom, even though she is no longer there, and in fact, is stuck outside somewhere dead. She just sort of went outside and dropped dead. Now we're going to find her body. Because I kind of want to get her pants. I mean, it sounds weird, but I do want to get into Cirrus's pants, in the most literal sense of the word, or phrase. Where are you? Come on. There we are. All right, so if I recall correctly, she was down here somewhere. At least I think I want to get into Cirrus's pants. That's very often the case with this sort of... Ow! Yeah, yeah, ah! That's often the case with this sort of thing. You, know, you think you want to get into someone's pants, and it turns out you don't, or maybe you do. It's hard to tell. I don't know. But I think it's worth a shot. And, oh, there they are. 
She also has other armor. But at this point, I quite like using the brass armor. I'm actually just curious if the sunless leggings even fit. And stab, because... Mm, they're there. Alright, sunset... Wait, what? Sunset shield. Where's the armor? Okay, I think I might be mistaking the timing on this stuff. Really, I thought I thought she was here somewhere. Her armor was here somewhere. Oh well, I I guess I won't be able to to get her clothes. Not yet anyway. I know I can. I just Oh wait, no no no, I know what it is. I'm pretty sure I have to buy them. Yeah, the sunset shields which you get and then I think Let's see. Do you have sunless leggings or armor in general? You have plenty of other things. But you don't have the... No, you don't have the sunset, sunless stuff. Okay, well, I won't worry about it for the time being. This farewell gift, it is the insig- If you fear trespass- Oh yeah, I never got this one. And the old Concord. What is wrong? Are you not at least- Well, you see, the thing is, you're protecting somebody. Someone up there. Possibly you, I'm not sure how that works. All I know is that I want them. What on earth? I want their blades. Oh, you're... What, really? I, th I thought you were... Here, let's try that again. Whatever is this about? My... What is this? Ah, Basin of Vows. Okay, cool. Oh, right, and if I try to go here and place it, that's when the dancers come. The dancer comes. Because, yes, I want the dancer's blades, and I don't really care what it takes to get there. This character is a touch evil. Not that much evil. You know, it's, it's only slightly evil. I'm, okay, granted, murder in cold blood is pretty evil. I don't know. I mean, it's a thing. It happened. I guess I haven't really done much cold-blooded murder in this playthrough yet. Oh well. I don't think I'll do much more, actually. The answer is kind of really my only goal here. Get those blades, which hopefully work for me, because I'm pretty sure they will. I know what the stats I need are, I just don't know if they're going to be too heavy or what. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I don't deal all that much damage here. Okay. Actually, that might be fine. That might just be okay. I might not have a problem here. Ow. And of course I can heal up off of multiple attacks, because that's what I do. Oh, oops. Pfft. Right, I thought you were getting your second sword. Because it's a thing you often do. Which is actually when I'm going to be getting worried. Oh wait, what am I thinking? I can just... I can do that. Oh no, what? Oh shit. Oh no. Ow. Okay, I should be able to heal up again, but oh boy, this is not good. Maybe I shouldn't use my roll so much as I use my step. I was like, the step is better. Okay, there we go. That's what I was expecting, and now I really need to be at full health. Ow. There we go. Perfect. Need to be behind you. Oh, crap. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, that's probably really bad. What happens here? I can't remember. Oh. Well, I forgot about that one. Okay. Like I said, I can't remember exactly what happens here. I just know that... It's, they might start swinging around a bit. Okay, that was close. Okay, I think I have them dead to rights. I do! First try! First try, dancers. Admittedly post-beating Aldrich, but hey. I got it. But I don't really care to go to the Lothar Castle. I just really just wanted those swords. 
and 60,000 souls. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a shopping spree. And that should hopefully get myself up to the point where I can use these swords well. So now that we've gone through the hardest series of boss fights, theoretically, in the game, let's go back down here, go to the Smoldering Lake. I meant to go here basically after I beat the dancers. So I've been the dancer, or dancer, which I have done, and gotten their blade, and upgraded it a bit. Not much. Honestly, it needs a bit more. If I can get Titanite Scales down here, I can't remember if I do, but if I can get Titanite Scales, I'd put me in a really good spot. Because then I'd be able to upgrade it once more. Oh, shoot, no. Bad, dead. That was... I, why didn't it prompt me to go the ladder? Uh -huh. Let's try that again without the embarrassing falls to my death. Is it going to actually give me the ladder prompt? Ah, there it goes. Okay. I guess that just has to wait until I've done every little bit. And then it can go. Alright, so... With that, we have a couple enemies to deal with. Main one being this giant demon thing. Flanked by skeletons. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Whoa, seriously? Is that just like a damage thing, or am I hitting its resistances? Ow! Okay, hang on. Need to try something. Demon Prince. No, I'm just hitting resistances. Okay, it just happens to be that the dancer's blades aren't great against the giant flaming beast. Ow! Uh, okay. Ah, there we go. Are you dead? No, you're not dead yet. Oh, darn it. I'm not dead either, though, so screw you. Aha! And now you are! I, you should be. There we go. Okay, so Dancer's Blade's not good against things that are on fire. I mean, it mixes physical magic and fire damage, so I'm not entirely surprised. Mildly disappointed, though, but let's see how it works against enemies who are not made of fire. Like these skeletons, for instance. Eh. Needs more upgrading. Actually, you know what? It might not be so bad, but I mean, just compared to the Daggers. No, it's actually on par. Okay, cool. So it really is just against enemies that have super high fire resistance. That's probably a bad idea. Oops. That's probably a bad idea with. Yeah. Ow. What the heck? Come on. Let me. Let me. Let me style on you. I'm trying to style on you here. Ah. No. It's this. Then. Th what? No. Oh, I'm out of stamina. That's why. I'm under the dancer attack on you. Ah, I thought I dodged that. Come on, let me style. Yeah, ha! Styling! Oh, that's why it doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I'm guessing it works like the brigand, the Salsar Twin Blades, where it doesn't deal a massive amount of damage until you. Oh, for crying out loud! Quit not getting hit. Just get hit and die. Come on. Okay, there we go. That's two down. I can't remember which one's respawn. Okay, those. this one's going to respawn. And that gives me my health back. Okay. You should respawn too. Aha! There we go! Okay, good. All the skeletons done. That was a little her more harrowing than I thought it would be, and... Yeah, I guess it's just the final attack of that whole series that does the thing. I'll have to test that in the next one. Oh. Seriously? Ha! Yeah! Okay. So, test it on you. Nah, get! Get! Ah! Oh, I see. Okay. So, it would deal a decent amount of damage, but I'm not really sure what the point of that art is. Like, I really don't know what the point of the weapon art is. Other than styling. Yeah! 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 I mean, okay, I can burn my entire magic bar and all my stamina in order to kill a single skeleton. Maybe it gets better with upgrades. But at any rate, I do have the blades I wanted. 
At least the blades I thought I wanted. I'm getting a little bit unsure that I actually want them. Ooh, witch's ring. What does that do again? That was like a... That was not a spellcasting ring, wasn't it? Let's see. That is... The... Witch's ring, ring greatly boosts pyromancies. Okay, I don't really care about that. And also... Sage's blind... Oh, yeah. Old Sage's blindfold. And now I've got a dark spirit after me. Okay, good. I can take the bonfire. I just need to worry about invasions, and I can't sit at the bonfire. Which means I have no Estus. Also, considering that they're going to be a player, I should probably switch over back to my daggers. Because the daggers are likely to work better. Especially if I get a parry in. Wherever they are. Where the heck are you? Seriously, where the heck did they go? I'd expect them to be here eventually, but I don't see them. Well, at any rate, here's Smoldering Lake for now. You know, before I get, like, ambushed, presumably. And I don't mean by that giant ballista up there. I mean, like, by the player. Actually, I kind of mean both. Okay, so that's that. Oh, right, it fires three shots. Oops, I forgot about that little quirk. I actually haven't had to deal with the ballista in a long time. Because you can't kill it and thus not have to deal with it. Also, I'm really tempted to try to run past the sandworm. I'm really tempted. Well, that's three. Yeah. Two. Three. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that should work. Yep, this will work fine. Okay, cool. So I can get to the second bonfire right away. And hey, it's the old Demon King fight. Not going to deal with that right now, but I will deal with that eventually. Smoldering Lake is mostly an area just to pick up stuff in. And I also have a giant sandworm that wants to kill you. If you like giant sandworms trying to kill you, this is the place for you. Also, I'm really not sure where my invader went off to. They're still here. Like, I still can't heal up. But I don't know where they went. Or are. They probably don't know where I am either. This is a very large area, and it's like, good luck finding me. Good freaking luck. Okay. All right, fire. Fire is not good. Ah. Actually, no, they should... No, they can't see me through walls. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to find me. I don't know when they're going to find me. I don't know if they're going to find me. Ah. Come on, just die so I can get rid of your bloody orb of fire. Okay. And also I can get health off you. And get a Titanite shard, because why not? Okay, so that's the ones I was worried about. Because this area is just full of stuff. You have the embers, you have the large Titanite shards. You have those weird crow things that create fireballs. You actually have a bunch of these grues. Some of them with embers. Most of them with embered, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh, where's all this? Okay, I don't know how to get rid of the poison. Ow. Nope. Need to get healing off this. Thank you. Oh, I do have SS flasks. Okay. I still have a chance. There is still hope for me yet. Oh, that's a shield bash. I can't parry those. I don't think. But I can get the get the critical attack and get the HP off the critical attack as well as the HP off the kill. Okay, so there is indeed a chance here. Although large titanite shards are only moderately useful right now. How? Oh wait, I'm using the wrong weapon. But I mean, I'm using the wrong mode of my weapon. I'm meant to be using it in my two-handed mode. Ow. Okay, now I can kill you. And get some HP back. So, that was way easier than I ever remember it being. Granted, I've never gone through this second. Like I said, there's basically three paths, one of which is optional, this one. And this is the obvious path to take first. Like, it really is the path that you think, oh yeah, this is the path you're going to take as you go and explore around the whole place. Because it makes the most sense. But, no. It's... 
possibly better suited to being the second. I hope that's not a monster. No, the big one isn't a monster. The small one is, yes, but not the big one. This thing isn't a monster. It's just, it's just there. Presumably dead. Ah, right, and this is where you, oh! Shoot, I, I was gonna say, I think this is where you get dropped into the area, because there's a point where you actually fall into it. I don't remember where that point is. Ah, eat magic! Except the walls. Yeah! Oh, I can do this. That bypasses the walls mostly. But there's still that weird flamethrower demon who can't shoot through walls. Despite the animations, they're trying to convince me. Okay. Good thing the slimes go down pretty quick to magic attacks. Now I just need to kill you. Eh. eh. Yeah! There we go! It's one demon statue from Lost Isleth down. And that's really all I've accomplished here. Is there a way to that section without jumping? Okay, looks like no. And I'm not looking very hard, but it looks like no. Jump! Oh, okay, well, first off, I need to actually jump in the right direction. E jump! Yeah! Oh, nice. Nessus shard. Oh! Not so nice. Hey, slime. Get off me, slime. Like, I don't have anything to actually... F Ow. Great, come on. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna stun you out and just... Come on. Heal me up a bit. Thank you. And dead. Next one up there. Oh, wait. I can just sort of lower this thing. Get it off there and then start going am. I don't expect that the fire... You know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't expect the fire's gonna help, but it might. It... No, it won't. I was, I was exactly right. It really won't help. I mean, it's it was worth a shot, but most slimes weak to fire. These slimes on fire, therefore not weak to fire. Although they are weak to magic, so I still won't have the magic up. Yeah. Or, nah, wrong one. Why won't you switch target? Switch target, for crying out loud. It's right there. Fine, whatever. Sheesh, you're annoying. Like, I don't know why it won't target that one up there. Like, it's right there. I don't see what your problem is. Ah, this is a targeting system sometimes. I think it's based on the angle from the viewer. I'm trying to remember. It's actually one of the, again, a difference between Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne, which I noticed, is that one of them will prioritize your target based on the center of screen, like how, which one's closer to the center of your screen on your screen. And the other one prioritizes based on distance. And I think Dark Souls 3 prioritizes based on angle. But I can't remember, honestly. And another bonfire, as we are going through this area entirely backwards and still wondering where the heck that invader is going to pop in. I mean, I'd expect they'd have left by now, but no, apparently they haven't. And I've just been going through here, essentially, with a magic play that doesn't really help me much. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. For... I mean, it helps me a bit, obviously. Ow, What? I was expecting to do more than that. Okay, come on. Seriously, that was... That had to be parry timing. Ah, well, you're backstabbable now, so that's fine. I can heal up off the backstab. That will do me just fine as I kill you. Ah, two, three. Ah. That should fade. There we go. Okay, and more HP. I really am relying on those HP gain rings because I do not have any other means of it gaining HP right now. I do, fortunately, have pretty much every bonfire in the area unlocked. I just wish that invader would go away. Like, I can't deal with that because I don't know where they are. Actually, well, I can't deal with them anyway because I'm at no HP. Effectively. But I certainly can't deal with them when I don't know where the heck they've gone off to. And they don't know where I've gone off to. Like, we're both just operating out of ignorance here. So, yeah. That's not really all that great. Chaos Gem, this is where you drop down from the lake if you came in through the lake and didn't run past the Intimidating Sandworm, which really is the best option. Gotta be honest, it's it's the way to go. Gets you in a good spot. But as it is, I don't know really what else to do besides get myself killed. Or die trying. 
All right. Ah. Oh, okay, cool. They just killed themselves. Awesome. Thank you. I can go heal up at a bonfire, which I will do after dealing with this shit. Ow. Oh, hey, I got some Estus. Nice. I'm glad of that. All right, I can't parry that. I just can't parry that because it's a shield. And for some reason, you can't parry shields. Come on, stamina. What? Okay, that's confusing as hell. Whatever. You're dead. I'm healed. Sort of. Okay, there we go. Now I'm even more healed. And one more left, and then I get whatever's in here. I think it's another pyromancy tome. This area is really good for pyromancers. It's... Oh, yeah, I have a spook. What am I thinking? This area is good for pyromancers. It's okay for other characters, but... Yeah, pyromancers definitely get a lot of benefit. Other characters get shards, which are good. Yeah! Oh, nice. Okay, well, that works. Isleth, or Pyromancy Tome, as expected. There's a secret here, though. Oh, right, this area is super full of secrets now that I think about it. I mean, I just, I knocked a secret roll down to get to the bonfire I'm at now. But I also just remember that there's just generally lots of secrets. Which, yes, I will go back to because I don't really feel like dying. To be quite frank, I would rather not die. I also can't remember where the heck that bonfire was. Was it really all the way in here? No, this is the place you get in. You'd go in here, you'd go down here, you'd think that that little spark there on the screen is actually something trying to hit you, and... Okay, now I'm, now I'm lost. Oh, wait, no, 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 because I have to turn... So I turned right where I should have turned left or gone forward. Yeah, <laughs> what am I thinking? It's right here. Okay, so the one downside of this bonfire is that crow demon thing wakes up. Very quickly. Oh yeah, the other downside is the black... No, the black nest nearby. Not that nearby. Where the heck is it? There's dangerous stuff here. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. Okay. You're not dangerous. You are trivial to fight, so no. Not worried about you. And I think this one... Okay, that's also not dangerous. Except for that bit. Doing that is kind of dangerous. Hey, whoa, you might... You might hurt somebody. Like me. I can get sick. I can get sick because of you. I mean, that would be probably what you want, but... No, forget that. I, will, I refuse to get sick because of you. You should have taken a sick day, stayed home, and made sure you recovered before you came back to work. Ow. Okay, well... How do you like it back, huh? And steady. And all the healing. Okay. Through rot shield. Don't really need it, but hey. It's there. And yes, I'm walking like this because I keep expecting that it's going to be something where I drop. I think that there is a... No, it's not a trap floor. Never mind. Getting worried for nothing. I mean, when I get to the profane capital, I'm pretty sure it'll be much more accurate. But right now, I'm kind of getting paranoid. All right, this is the lower section off the bonfire. There's something else I'm missing, though. It's an area of the Black Knight. Like, this is a long and windy area with lots of little corridors. And I'm missing at least one of them. There's straight up a Black Knight. And I don't remember where they are. Well, there's somewhere down here. I think they're even further down... Okay, where is that? Oh, the dogs. Yeah, this is fine. It's fine. We're good. Uh, okay, we're slightly less good, but we're still good. Yeah. Okay, and one more. As I avoid getting hit by a flamethrower. Demon who can't shoot through walls despite the graphics. Seriously, I don't know what's with that. Yeah. And now you're dead. Okay. That's pretty simple. I mean, this area is going to be a massive difficulty drop compared to what I just went through, what we just went through, because what we just went through was kind of much later. I mean, theoretically, it's as late in the game as this, but I found that the Smoldering Lake is the easier of the three areas. Like, Smoldering Lake, then the dungeon, then Irithal Nan Orlando. This is another secret. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. 
Okay. There we go! Nice! I can still parry! Okay, I was worried about that for a second. <laughs> like, I was legit actually worried that I wasn't able to parry for a sec. Ow. Okay, well, I just need to... <sighs> Ow. Okay, that's bad. Ow, also bad. What? Why aren't you getting hit? Okay, there we go. Now you're gonna get hit. Now you're gonna die. And the important thing is that I parried you. Well, I suppose I could have parried you twice and made it even better. Black Knight Sword, Titan Knight Shard. I mean, if I wanted a Black Knight Sword, this is where I'd get it. I just wanted to kill the Black Knight because it was there. I forgot that there was actually not much here that I really cared about. Loads of Titan Knight Shards, though. Mostly I consider that to just be a form of currency right now, but hey, they exist. All right, that's where I came in. That's where I fought the Black Knight. Turning right here. Yeah, I just dispatched them effortlessly. And then there's this bit. Which I'm not as big of a fan of. Ow. And it's actually how I how you can lead into the area I was just in. And rats. Bye, rats. Not really all that much of a threat, rats. Oh, yeah. P oh. I mean, I could jump over that, or I could just, you know, walk in here and kill everything. Because this is not that hard of an area. Ow, seriously? I think I actually healed up more off you than you took off me by hitting me. Ow, seriously? There we go, okay. Rally back. It's not, dark, it's not Bloodborne, but they deal so little damage it might as well be. Okay, and this, is it what I think it is? Yeah, it looks like what I think it is. Yeah, this is the area that if I didn't get up to the bonfire that i already gotten up to, would have to go... Oh, no, 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 this is how you get to the ballista. That's what I was talking about earlier with the ballista, is that you have to go through this bit. Oh, yeah, and you're not struggling against fire. Awesome. Man, the ballista... Ow. Seriously? No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. Bad, wrong, bad. Get hit. That's good. Why am I getting hit by things? That's bad. I said bad. It said bad. I... Bad rats. You're doing things wrong. Okay, there we go. Good rats. You're dead. Yeah, I don't know what that spin attack is going to be for, because it doesn't seem to do me much good. But yeah, this is the path to the ballista. There's a lot of crap to deal with along the way, and I don't know how effectively I can. Because I don't have a huge amount of Estus left. Because there's... There's a Black Knight on a bridge, and then there's some guy that is next to the lava, the bridge is over, and then there's some other crap. And loads of skeletons. Okay, what... What? Oh, no, I need to be in... I need to be in the right mode here. Come on, okay. There we go. No. Nope. Ah, yeah. There we go. Healing up nicely and not getting cursed. Ideally. Ha! Okay, that should be enough to get myself fully healed. Quit trying to curse me, no! No! Ah! I hate this thing sometimes. The basilisks. Basilisks are a pain. Especially this area, as I can't deal with them trivially. Nope. Arrow to the head. Arrow to the head and you die, and I get moss root, which I can't remember what it does. It's like, it does kind of everything, if I recall correctly. Temporarily boosts all resistances. Yes, in a sense, I was correct. In a very vague, non-committal sense, but it was correct, nonetheless. And just a bit concerned now, because this is not an easy area to get through. Like I said... Black Knight. On bridge. Over lava. Not the most savory of combinations. Also, respawning Black Knight, just to be fair. Just to be sh just to let you know, it does, as far as I recall, come back. Oh, I just hit you. Okay, that's... What? Oh, shoot. Of course, he's using a greatsword too, which is weird timings. Oh, wait, I can backstab- No, I can't backstab you. 
I might be able to backstab you, maybe, if I can get in on that. Ah, shoot. No, bad. Darn it. All right, this time with feeling. And you're gonna come at me, and you're gonna do a thing. What is the timing? Sheesh, are you even parryable? Like, I'm seriously starting to wonder that, but it doesn't matter because I can backstab you. That at least is something. And go to critical attack somehow. Ah, I was out of stamina. Perfect. Okay. Ah, that's fine too. Backstab works. Backstab gets me the kill. With all my S's left. And yes, I know there's a bunch of stuff down there, and there's no easy way to get it. You can do a lot of suicide runs. That'll that'll get you there. Not the best idea. There's also a guy. We can't see right now. I think I might have to be embered up to actually fight them. There's a guy down there, too. I don't really want to deal with him. And I don't really have to. I just want to get rid of this ballista. Which... As I recall, is a bit of a pain to get to and through. And then to kill the things inside of. Like, the wheel skeletons are okay, but there's the big Karthus skeletons that admittedly I did work out a strategy for. So maybe it's fine. Also, is there something I need to get? That's the next level up. Okay. I vaguely remember there was something up here. Ah, there it is. It's right here. Don't remember what it is. Should probably get it for the sake of completeness. It could be something I want. And it's a Dragon Rider bow, which I kind of don't care about. I've got my bow. And I guess I could try it, but I don't really have much weight capacity without changing armor sets. And I like this armor. I actually had to change armor sets a little bit to get the Dancer's Blades to fit. Anyhow, top section. This is where things get really scary, because the Ballista's turning around and is going to fire upon me as soon as he gets the chance. But that's fine. Just need to not get behind those pieces of brick. Like, this here is proper cover. These rock wall face areas. Not gonna hit me here. I don't think. So first off, wheel skeletons, which as we've established are already kind of trivial. Yeah. D yeah, there we go. Wait, where'd the other one go? There's one that came after me. Oh, okay, there you are. And then a couple more of the Karthus skeletons, which, as we all know, are a right pain in the butt. Three, four, five. Oh, and you missed! Nice! A net increase of HP. On top of the HP I get from the Ring of the Evil Eye. Oh, no, these are just normal. Where's the Karthus skeleton, dude? Also, do they have ears? I'm curious. Let's find out if they have ears. I have a strange feeling that they do... They do! They use ears to sense that things are happening nearby, through vibrations in the air. Ow. Yeah, ha, ha. All right, well, that's fine. What I really want to know, then, is what's up with the next one. Ah, there's two of them. Oh, and they're double sh Okay, I knew there was a reason why they were much tougher. Oh, no, it's just one shuttle. Okay. Could you please get hit? Okay, so one of them is double shotel. Who is surprisingly a passive. Just walking towards me, tanking hit after hit after hit. I mean, if that's your style. Don't let me stop you. Oops. Bad. No. Wrong. I didn't want to do that. Yes! I did want to do that. Okay. That's... that's a good recovery. I'm trying a great soul arrow, not magic missile. Oh wait, are these... They're dead! They're very dead! Perfect! Okay, we can keep going. Wow, is that ever scary? I do find it amusing that I just tanked all those soul arrows... Oh, stupid lock-on system. I find it funny I tanked all those soul arrows before finally deciding to, you know, fight me. Yeah! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Oh, wait, the strategy was hit it. Once I get it locked down, hit it with light attacks and not get hit. Oh, come on. 
Why am I not hitting it? There we go. Okay, I was getting locked down. And nearly bled to death. That was scary. Let's not do that again. In fact, I can't remember what's ahead, so let's just be on the safe side. And there we go. Okay, there's something here. I think. Don't remember exactly what. The important thing is that this ballista is now gone. We've accomplished one of the most important things about dealing with this area. Oh, right, it's a dead giant. But yeah, the most important thing about dealing with the area, turn off the ballista. Once that's done, you get to explore the area freely. Now, at this point, I think all I really got to do is find the one item, because there's an item around here. Don't remember where it is. But it's here. Hmm. Okay, I don't really see anything. Anyway, this seems like a good place to end the episode, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy that, and, well, until the next time, enjoy stuff.